Hey guys, it's Sandy Carter again, and I wanted to share with you a, another mixed media page that I did. I'm kind of getting addicted to this, and I find that I'm having more fun scrapbooking when I do a mixed media background. Uh, first, I started with a um, just a plain old white piece of cardstock. It was actually the back side of a uh, paper pad that I had that I just didn't like the paper on the back side, so. I just took some wild honey, scribbled it on, and I took yellow gelatos and I took a pink gelato and ran it down the middle. Um, I actually wasn't going to record this video to begin with, but then I thought I might as well try it just in case I like it. Um, but I took some white paint and some pink paint, and those are just plain old acrylic paints, and I went ahead and just painted that on. And I got this really cool dauber with my gelato set. Um, and this dauber, I just I put white paint on my palette, and I just daubed it on like polka dots. And I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so I'm just kind of building up this background. Now, I don't have any training in mixed media. I don't really, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know much technical things about it. Um, I just kind of watch YouTube videos and see what other people do and just have fun and try it out on my own layouts. And so far, I've been really liking it. I picked up these stencils on the Joanne sale that was on 50% off. Um, so I picked up some stencils from there, and then um, I'm just having fun with them. I'm, I'm layering different paint colors, and this right here, this pink color that I just used, is from the Distress Paint in Picked Raspberry. Um, I added some of those. Now, I used the... Um, stencil and then I flipped the stencil over and I took some of the paint off the top just to add an extra little different type of print on there. Um, and then I used some Color Shine in pink by Heidi Swap to make those dots. It's kind of cool because some of the dots turn out really vibrant and some of them turn out more shimmery. I don't think I, I shook the Color Shine very well. But I should have stopped here. I love the way that looks but I don't know what I was doing. I was like, oh I've got this cool stamp. I'll just stamp it down. Well, just like anybody else, I honestly, I make mistakes a lot on my scrapbooks, so most of the time I'm doing <laughs> cover-up and uh, trying to fix my backgrounds. I should have left it, though, without adding any extra stamping or anything in there. Um, like, I really like the way that turned out before I added any extra, but that's okay. I mean, you can always fix it just by covering things up. This green was just not the right green. I didn't really like the way it looked. It was too too dark of a green. Um, but this whole idea that I used for this scrapbook page, I did, or I saw a little challenge on the Hip Kit Club, and it was just kind of like to take inspiration from the um, one of the designer's pages, and she had a diagonal type layout, and I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cute. It's a bummer, though, because I didn't use three pieces of cardstock. I only used... Um, in reality, I only use like two pieces, so those frames and stuff, those were all from a really old KN company. Um, it was like a ephemera, pa ephemera pack back, gosh, a few years back at least. I got it at Joann's, but I had never used any of it, and I thought I'd be kind of cool to make a little background with it. So this is, this is what I'm coming up with. Um, I like using older stuff. Not always, but sometimes it's really fun because you don't feel bad about using it all up. When I have really cute new stuff, I kind of want to be frugal with it and not use a lot on the same page. So I actually do like using my older stuff at times. This doily is cool. These doilies, um, I actually got them from Michaels. Michaels had them in their value bins. It was like $2 for a, quite a few of them, actually. I got the pink and then the mustard yellow. And then that totally amazing that you're seeing above the picture frame is from the new Heidi Swap stuff at Michael's. It was actually a planner set. I wanted to incorporate it somehow. I'm just like in love with all her colors and stuff, so I'm going to start using that on a lot of my layouts. I picked up a bunch. It was on quite a good deal, and I had an extra coupon, so I felt like I was making making a really good purchase when I was there. I try to justify it. <laughs> I'm just glad my husband didn't say anything. <laughs> okay. And I'm adding this down. I've, I just, I don't know if there's something about this page I love. Um, it's one of my favorite pages I've made so far lately. And, I mean, it's really, 
there's a lot to it, but at the same time, to me, it's not that complicated. It was just fun, you know? I did the whole layout in probably less than an hour. And that was with me, you know, getting up and feeding the baby and just, you know, taking my sweet time. <laughs> but that together is actually really neat. I have a brother scan and cut. And what I did was I took the Heidi Swap sticker, it said together, and I turned it into a stamp. I stamped it in black. And then I put it through my brother's scan and cut and I made a cutting file for it. So basically I can cut it out of any kind of paper I want. And I had this um, pink paper. It's very shiny and metallic. I got that from Michael's. It was in their clearance for 40 cents each. So I bought that and I turned it into the together. Um, I love doing that with the Brothers Scan and Cut because then you feel like you don't um, use up your favorite supplies. You could remake it. It's pretty awesome. Um, the Brothers Scan and Cut I don't use very often. I use my Silhouette more, but when I want to make custom things, that's what I use. Um, but I hope you guys like this layout. It was really fun to make. I love the colors and how it turned out. Um, go ahead and comment below if you have any questions. This really didn't have much paper in it. Those literally those little pink strips were from something that was just sitting on my desk. But the rest was all that KN Company pack that I had from Joann's from years ago. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the mixed media layouts. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with them. But if you have any kind of questions or requests, just feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and check me out on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Um, have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining me. Bye.